Hey guys, I thought I'd do a video because I got a, a few comments and I know that it looks like I was doing something one way and I was actually doing something a different way. It was on the, not the last video, but the video before that. Um, people commented that I shouldn't be, or I don't know, I just took it like they thought that I was sticking the hose down in the tube, which causes a siphon effect. Uh, I wanted to talk about that, not because I'm trying to disprove anything or um, I want to learn. You know, I'm, I'm 60 some years old and the older I get, the more I realize I don't know a whole lot of stuff. Um, so I wanted to talk about the whole thing. First of all, when you buy these and you buy these, you get this connector right here. Most of the time, you'll see me use this. but on the morning that I was first trying to rebuild that tank I wasn't trying to replace it all out in the video you see I tried to replace a flapper I tried to um, Alicia tried sanding the flapper lips because you get calcium deposits here so if you take a little painters uh, automotive wet and dry you can clean that up so your new flapper has a nice place to sit but if you notice in the video uh, no matter what I did it was seeping and people on the first on the first tank it looked like it was going straight into the tube right here like this but it wasn't that tube was a white tube and it had one of these white fittings but it didn't fit, sit on top it sat about right about right here and it was white so when you saw us put the tube in we were putting it into a little hole um, with still a space between the water level and the end of the hose now this one is the one I installed over there and and I don't think maybe I don't know if people were wondering if I had done that with the old tank part or if I had did it with the new tank part or if I had did it with both because both ways looked like it was going in like that but on the tube that I replaced this is the exact same model and after I got it in um, I think we didn't show the part where we actually stuck it in like this um, What we did do Was we built the tank on the floor and I think Alicia put it in like that And then when we when you finally did get to see the tank It really did look like the hose was going into the tube here and um, But it wasn't it was going right like this um, And you do have to be careful because the white one the old part that we had had this but it also had a little stopper so you couldn't go too far down this one is different this one here holds it but you can keep going with it you can end up all the way down to the bottom this doesn't have a stop so usually Alicia will place them about a quarter if it's like this she places it just about right at the tip right about right here usually when um, she does it here because I asked her and she, it was about right there um, so there's always separation now that we're talking about that I want to talk about what really does happen when people decide to put their tube all the way down here like this like that and let's talk about what happens first of all uh, a flush valve works it, it spews water in two places it fills the tank from right here water comes gushing out of here and it comes out of this tube right here so basically what happens is your tank is filling here and your bowl is filling here because when water goes into here it goes into here and it comes out here into your tank so if your bowl doesn't have enough water in it you get a really bad flush when your bowl is sitting kind of high with water you get a really good powerful flush so basically everything is balanced out by the time your tank fills and this comes up and turns off the, the mechanism your bowl is usually in the right spot because of this now what they're saying is if it's down here it can siphon water up and basically put water into your tank and suck it out of your bowl so when you go to use it a couple hours later your water level is down and not where it's supposed to be so will it do that I don't know if it siphons but if it does it will do exactly what people think it'll do because look if you blow on this 
what there's nothing to stop this so if it does flow what it will if it does siphon it'll come out and it will come down here and it will go in your tank down here um, I don't know if there's a I think there's an outlet right here let me see yes so if this siphons water will come out here so it will take water from your bowl and bring it in and, and let it out here siphoning your bowl and filling up your tank now what I don't get and we're all I think we're all on track with that I think we all agree that if this is down here like this it will suck your bowl dry or bring your water level down and put it in your tank but what I don't understand how it actually siphons because if you go look at your bowl tonight or the next time you're there you'll notice this tube is always dry so basically if you're down all the way to the bottom dry on the inside yeah it's dry inside the tube and so basically when this fills up your bowl when this comes up and your bowl is nice and full and this turns off all the water that's in there goes to your bowl and, and, it, and it drops past here so basically when your toilet is sitting there there's nothing in this tube it's dry all the way to the bottom of right here so I don't understand because the whole theory about this is like an air gap basically um, when you put this on you're causing a separation uh, between your hose and the water that's in there that way it can't suck water out same with this you put it here you only put it so deep and that keeps a separation um, from your thing from your water level but what I don't get is this tube once that shuts off empties out and, it, and there's absolutely no water in there so my point is and I hope somebody can explain it to me and help me because I want to learn when you, this turns off water all drains and this thing is dry dry as a bone now we'll go to my two toilets I have um, three toilets we can check all three uh, but you can do your own experiment when you go to the toilet and, and lift the tank you'll see this thing is completely dry so in order for this to siphon water when this is like this in order for this to siphon there would have to be water here in order to siphon and come backwards so even if there was a little bit of water here there's no way that that water level in the bowl can go up and in and siphon out so let's go look at let's go um, look at my couple of toilets okay guys this is a toto and um, if we look in here take a look down that um, overflow tube can you get can you see it, it, it's completely I got a flashlight hold on it's completely dry all the way so if that tube was stuck down there how's it gonna siphon water it, it's dry as a bone let's go down to um, let me see if I can get a shot of that see it's dry as a bone so now let's go down to my other toilet Weird story about these two totos I'm going to show you. It's not that I'm rich and, and, and can't afford these, but a uh, uh, job that I went to, the owner wanted to put some sort of fancy toilet in with the, the thing that cleans your butt and, you know, what's it called? A bidet. Bidet. And so he gave me these toilets because they were only like two or three years. So I took them home and put them in my two bathrooms. I'm looking in my other bathroom, I'm looking for a Kohler. I have a Kohler in there, and um, if I ever find another Toto um, and it's in good shape, I'm going to take it. But here's uh, my second Toto. Now, maybe where I could be wrong, and here, look, it's completely dry. Now, where I could be wrong at is, let's see if I can get it in there. Let's see. Yeah, it's completely dry. Now, I don't think it makes a difference. Huh? Put that lid right here. You want to show an example of the flush? Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, I could be wrong. Maybe the taller ones would hold water, but I've never seen them hold water. Mm -hmm. um, they've always been dry because once it how, leaves... How can they hold water when they have the hole in the bottom? That's right. It can't hold water. That's what I was trying Now, to let's do a little demonstration how this really works. So, let's, um, let's just see here. 
and you'll see how nice my water level is here. Now, I'm gonna pull this hose out of here and put it over here. What should happen is, th see that water comes out the bottom and it comes out the top. So what basically should happen is, everything should go down, this should go down, but it shouldn't come up. It might just level off a little bit down there where, where it didn't all go out, but let's just flush it and see what happens and see how this does fill that. And if it did siphon, you could see how that water would go down, but I don't know how it would. So let's, let's go ahead and do this. Let's flush it. And I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna hold the um, pull a little bit so all the water goes out real quick. I'm just gonna hold it open. Let it the flapper open. Yeah, I'm holding the flapper open. I just want it to um, drain it. Let's see here. Oh, I'm, I'm, I know what I'm doing wrong. There we go. There it goes. Okay, now I'm holding it down and now I'm letting it go. Now watch. This will fill up, but this won't fill up until the water goes down that tube. In order for your bowl to fill up, the water is going to go right down this tube. And if you notice the bowl, bowl is, so, is still empty. So now what happens when this fills up all the way and water didn't get down here because your hose was off or something? This is all the water you get. Now I'm going to go ahead and put it back up. I'm going to go ahead and hold it down and you'll see once I put water in here, it'll fill this up. So, so here we go. Overfill the tank. Yeah, I'm going to overfill the tank just to get water. And watch here in the bowl, it comes up because there's water now going down the tube. Now that we got water going here, we'll do a normal flush. And this will fill up at the same time as that. And discard what I said about that because the truth of the matter is when you fill, this gets to a certain level, it'll flush itself. Because watch, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to overflow this thing and eventually it'll flush itself. Watch. This thing will only go so high before it flushes itself, I think. Now all I'm doing is just holding it, overflowing the bowl. And eventually I hope, I think that thing will just flush itself. There she goes, she's starting to flush herself. So it won't ever overflow. But I think we are understanding now. Now watch. Better waste a lot of water. Watch this. This will eventually go dry. Let me get my flashlight. All the water is just sifting right down to the bottom. Whatever's in there is gonna go all the way down until and the reason why it goes all the way down is you got a hole in there. And that hole and this thing will just level off. Now, we'll come back to this in a second. Oh yeah, that's deep in there though. Yeah, that's really deep. Do another flush. Okay, let's do it. Uh, oh, because we were reset. messing with it. Okay, let's reset it. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Let me put this on. I still can. I still get it. There we go. Okay, we're going to reset it. Okay, we just reset it. We gave it a normal flush. And we're going to see if it's water. Yeah, we're going to see how long it takes for that to go dry. But the main thing, guys, was I wasn't shoving the hose all the way down because whether it siphons or doesn't siphon, um, I don't do that. And if you look, see, it's completely empty. There, even if your hose was down there, there'd be nothing to siphon. So now, this is going to be a, an open conversation because um, if there's something that I'm missing, I wish you guys would comment and let me know what's going on. So let's just kind of recap. Let's just recap. I won't hold you guys much longer. Let's go to the um, living room and um, we'll kind of recap what we're doing here. Okay. First of all, we do we do know that when this tube fills up, the water goes into your toilet bowl right here in that hole and down. We do know. Once this valve shuts off, the water completely goes down and into here and down to your bowl and it, and it doesn't fill up. It's always dry. So we do know that. 
We do know whether or not it can siphon water or not, it's not good practice to stick your hose down in there. Um, I think having your pressure way down here could mess uh, the amount of how it fills. It, I, I don't know, but I just feel that it is made to go here or on a clip like this one right here. We do know if it was to siphon, it would come out right here because there's no check valve. I always used to think, hey, maybe there's a check valve. When this goes up, you would not be able to blow in it and, and blow air through there, but you can. Um, we do know now that water comes out of here and here. This fills the tank. This fills the bowl by going through here and then out through here. And we do know that when this stops, this is dry. So, you know, even even if I knew 100% it wouldn't siphon, I still wouldn't shove the hose in there. Um, but anyway, I just thought I'd put this video out. And because, you know, I'll tell you, I watch all those other videos um, just like you guys do. I, I You know, I, I love watching these videos. I think we're all kind of family in that way, that we all enjoy this kind of stuff. We all go to our computers, our phones, our laptops, whatever we have, and we watch videos. I mean, that's how I got into this. Um, I'm watching everybody else's videos. So I sit there and I've heard it many times that if you put this in there, it'll siphon. And if you look on the internet, it says it. But in my head, I just can't figure out if this tube is empty, how does this siphon? So I'm sure maybe somebody knows and they'll be able to explain it to us and we'll all learn together. Um, anyway, well, I guess I'll try to edit this video a little bit and clean it up. Um, that way I don't waste too much of your guys' time and we'll see what we do with this and see where it goes. Shout out to anyone who's checked their toilet and has water in there. Please comment. Yes, thank you. If anybody checks their toilet and sees that there's water in there where if this tube was in here, um, we would like to know about it because every toilet I've ever seen has an empty tube after it stops usually it'll it'll you'll see water sit on the bottom just for a few until all that water kind of makes it through that hole we in there angle. so usually it sits where yeah it usually sits right here a little bit of water will sit here until it works and if the toilet is not leveled right if your toilet's a little bit off you'll have like a little puddle of water all the time right here but there's no way that little puddle can suck up more water it can't siphon it up but the only, if your toilet is sitting straight, this will be completely empty. Or if your toilet's sitting a little forward, it'll be completely in, empty. But if your toilet's a little kitty wampus, then you might see a little shine. You won't see water, but you'll see a little shine down there. Um, anyway, thanks for watching the video, guys. And I'm looking forward to your comments and you know, help me figure this out.